KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. It is Friday, April 12th. I'm Sheba Turk. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I'm Chris Holmstrom. Rudabay Shabazi is off. Well, thanks for waking up with us here on KCAL News and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Here's a look at the stories we're tracking for you this morning. Uh, this is an awful story. A 14-year-old boy killed after being shot inside an SUV at a parking lot. We're live with the latest on the investigation, but also the search for his killer. Mr. Otani is considered a victim in this case. Shohei Otani cleared in his former interpreter's gambling scandal, and in just a few hours, Ipe Mizuhara is expected to turn himself in. Find out what's expected to play out in court today. I'm not shedding any tears. Definitely devastated that he passed away. And complex reactions to the end of a complicated life. We're looking back at O.J. Simpson's impact and legacy. All right, but first, we're tracking another storm heading to SoCal just in time for the Ooh. weekend. I know. In the next in weather with Marina Jurica right now. And unfortunately, we got to talk about rain for the weekend. I know. It's the worst timing. We were saying it seems like multiple weekends, one right after another, we got to deal with the rain. But this is a beautiful shot at Malibu this morning. And you can see the fog all across the ocean. It's just just like a nice blanket out there. Now the fog isn't as thick along the coastline as it was yesterday. It's actually moved a little more inland. So trouble spots are Burbank, Pasadena, Claremont, Chino, Riverside. So more of the valleys in the Inland Empire are seeing the heavier fog, whereas the coast is staying at anywhere from about five to eight mile visibility. Temperatures as we move into this afternoon are going to be completely different. We're going to go from a high of 84 in Pasadena to 68 today. That's a huge difference. 72 in Chino, still nice and toasty in Riverside at 78, 70 in Simi Valley, 67 at LAX. So we've got an onshore flow that's going to cool things down for us today, get us set up for, yes, weekend rain. So I'll be tracking that on our future tracker moving into Saturday and Sunday so you can pinpoint when the heaviest of rain is going to be for your plans. So Alex, not the greatest timing, but uh, at least oh. it's not on our morning commute this morning. That's what I was going to say. And you know, I guess the good news is the bright side that it lands on the weekend is that people will be home so that's good all right good morning everybody here's what's impacting you this morning there is a crash that's being reported at east mountain side of the 105 this is through linwood so this is just at long beach boulevard uh, because the carpool lane is blocked we are seeing quite a backup from this again on the eastbound side so that is going to be impacting you on the 105 freeway otherwise it's looking pretty good at six o'clock on this friday morning there is a crash to tell you about southbound side of the 605 this is just past Peck Road across City of Industry. So that left lane is blocked, and of course, we can see the backup because of that. We're still watching this crash northbound side of the 405. This is just past Rinaldi. That carpool lane also blocked. Not a huge backup, but we'll continue to monitor that. We'll send it back to you. All right, Alex, thank you so much. We do want to get to some breaking news. A crash sends a police patrol vehicle right into the side of a restaurant. Our assignment manager, Mark Liu, live at the desk with a look at the live scene. Mark, what do we know? Yeah, good morning, Chris. So hours after this crash last night, traffic investigators are still trying to work through how this crash happened. So far, we know an El Monte police officer struck a civilian vehicle, lost control, hit a restaurant, and caused this, a partial roof collapse. These are live pictures from our breaking news photographer at the scene. You can see the damage here to Arts Burgers near the intersection of Valley Boulevard and Peck Road in El Monte. El Monte PD says last night, just before 1130, one of their officers was involved in a crash with a civilian car here. That sent the El Monte patrol vehicle careening out of control. It collided directly with that restaurant. Turned into a partial roof collapse, as you can see. It appears that patrol vehicle didn't get trapped underneath the wreckage. The officer was able to get out okay. Fire paramedics arrived, checked out that officer. It looks like that officer was taken by ambulance to the hospital, but just to be seen by doctors, they're going to be fine. Now, as for the civilian vehicle, you see it there. Uh, we don't have a condition on that person, but there was only one transport from this scene, so very likely the person in that car is fine. You can see it appears the damage was on the passenger side of the car. We asked El Monte PD if their officer was responding to a call or had their lights or sirens on at the time of the crash. Investigators say they're still gathering details on how that happened. That is the very latest here from the desk. I'll send it back to you. All right, Mark Lou, thank you so much. KCAL News, now weekday mornings from 4 to 11. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.